Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guest is Kiara Bryant of Explore St. Louis. And we're talking all about the holidays in the St. Louis area, not just as you mentioned, not just downtown, but really all over the region. Uh, so, you know, there's not a shortage of stuff to do. We kind of covered some of the light, the holiday light displays, but we didn't get into Garden Glow at the Missouri Botanical Garden, and we have a photo of that. Tell me a bit more about that. Garden Glow is so amazing. I just went last week mm -hmm. and um, they've got the lighting displays set to holiday music. There were families, children, it's a great date night and I just think it's a, just a great, wonderful, magical event to go to and you can walk through the garden and just see all of the fabulous lighting displays mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. No, they do a great job and each year it's like there's like more and more. Exactly. <laughs> more, and more light. <laughs> um, are there any other when we talk about that you wanted to mention any of your kind of top picks or any other suggestions for the uh, light displays before we move on to entertainment? Well, I can't mention them all, but uh, definitely Winter Wonderland at Tillis Park is mm. another one. It's been famous for mm -hmm. um, 30 years in St. Mm -hmm. Louis. <laughs> yeah, no, my kids love that one. That's, they wanted to go last night even, and I think it just opened. But yeah, uh, so Tillis Park, uh, anything else? Or you want uh, there's just so many. I can't name them all, yeah. but I, I want to mention more. Um, that's not all we have going yeah, on for the holidays. Yeah, but like we said, people can always go to your site, and you've got mm -hmm. them all listed there. Then we get into entertainment, because that's a big thing. You can get in your car, drive through the light displays, but you can also go to concerts, you can go see live performances. Uh, what are your suggestions for that one, for that category? Well, we definitely have um, Holiday in the Park at Six Flags St. Louis. It returns again. It's another great option for families, or you could go with your friends. Um, they've got carolers, and some of the rides are open, and they have their own lighting displays. So I think that's another great mm -hmm. option for families. Um, we also have the Polar Express that oh. has returned to St. Louis Union Station. Mm -hmm. The train departs from um, Union Station mm -hmm. and goes to pick up Santa. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's just such a wonderful thing for kids. And you don't have to be a kid yeah. to enjoy a train ride. Yeah. We've got hot cocoa, pajamas are mm -hmm. encouraged, and um, it's just a wonderful thing. It is. We did. I will say, I did that last last week with my kids, and it was they enjoyed it. <laughs> they really did. It was very fun. They did a great job. I, it's a lot. A lot of kids and a lot, you know, too, um, that go and the experience is really, really fun for them, especially the train ride. Um, anything else? Uh, Two Hill Performing Arts Center is always got something going on in the weekends, and they have some holiday themed events. Is that correct? Yes, they have um, holiday concerts, but there's also the fabulous Fox. They have um, a Christmas Carol and The King and I right now. Oh, okay. And also they have um, just several shows mm -hmm. like holiday concerts as well. Mm -hmm. Just all of the different venues throughout St. Louis have their um, holiday shows, and they also have the Moscow Ballet's Nutcracker. Oh, okay. That's another famous entertainment um, show for uh -huh. um, the holiday the ballet, season. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's not just so we've got we've covered the areas of the light the light displays the live performances that people can go to, music, ballet, dance, covering the whole thing. And then do you want to touch anything upon shopping? You mentioned in the last segment, but that's a big one. I mean, what should people kind of keep in mind? It's not just heading, you can go to the malls, but there's more? Yes. Um, also, like in honor of Small Business Saturday, we have our different mini neighborhoods and they have oh. boutiques. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can go to the Loop, you can go to Central West End, and a lot of different neighborhoods are having their holiday markets. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, Central West End has their window walk going on oh, throughout yeah. the month of um, December. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of these different events going out um, until January 1st even. Mm -hmm. And so I just really would recommend everyone checking out ExploreStLouis.com because I can't even begin to yeah, mention all so of the much, dates, yeah. all the information. Yeah. But um, No, you've definitely. done a great job, and I think that's such a good note to end on is really with the holiday markets, it's a great chance to get into individual neighborhoods around town and just to see, get the vibe and the feel for that city while getting some shopping. So thank you so much for being here. We've got the information there for you on the screen. You should go check it out, ExploreStLouis.com. Again, a wealth of information about events taking place year-round, but obviously what we're talking about today is holiday holidays in St. Louis and so you can get all the details for live performances, musical performances, the Nutcracker, Alphabet <laughs> Ballets, as well as the holiday light displays. Again, for more information, go to explorestlouis.com or call 800-916-8938. Well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.